Hello, and welcome to Subdonica. Today I'll be showing you the basics of surviving in this underwater world. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick up that fire extinguisher, put out those flames. And hopefully you're able to accomplish this amazing feat without burning yourself like I do. Just saying. So, after you put out the flames, your PDA should open up for the first time. Go ahead and close that by pushing tab, and I'm just going to skip it for you guys. Alright, so now throw your fire extinguisher into the container, and you'll notice there are two flares, two water bottles, and two nutrient bars. That should make surviving a little bit easier. Then go ahead and open up your fabricator, go to personal, tools, and you'll see the first thing on there is a scanner. We're going to build that first since it's very important in unlocking new blueprints and knowing what's going on in the world of Subnautica. It requires a battery and titanium, so we'll go and get those. A repair tool we'll build later on, because it's very important for repairing our habitats and a flashlight we'll probably never build and a survival knife is very important to build so we'll build that second and that's because it's the only weapon in Subnautica and then there's also some equipment things such as an O2 tank and fins that we'll also be building and a first aid kit we'll probably never build and we'll probably also never build the fire extinguisher the pipe or the floating air pump so uh, the habitat builder is very important later on, and the flares will probably also never build. So, you can see here we'll get the medical kits. You want to keep stocking up on those, and that's why you never build them, because you can just keep getting them for free from there. So we'll head into the watery world of Sonatica to go pick up our parts for our scanner. First thing we're going to need is some titanium, and you can get titanium from lithium outcroppings or from this metal salvage, which we can break up into four pieces of titanium. Next, I'm going to go grab some acid mushrooms for our batteries, and we're also going to need a piece of copper for our batteries, and that can also be gathered from limestone outcroppings. So, as I previously stated, you can get copper and titanium randomly from the lithium outcroppings. And here you can see where those outcroppings are, and that sandstone outcroppings drop gold, lead, and silver, while shale outcroppings drop the gold, lithium, and diamonds. So, if you ever want to reference this map, it's very useful for finding out where to find things. Back up in the escape pod, we'll go to the fabricator and go ahead and build ourselves a battery. And then we will use that battery to build ourselves a scanner. Now that we have our scanner, we can go ahead and I'll show you the metal salvage, which you can see I have two pieces of. If you go to basic materials, you can break it up into four pieces of titanium. And so, there you can see that. And um, we'll go ahead and keep throwing stuff into these storage containers, because it's actually, your inventory will fill up a lot faster than you would think. So now, remember just to scan everything if you're new to this game in order to find out everything you can about this world around you. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to get some cave sulfur. So, you'll notice that if you're swimming down in these caves, you'll hear the sound and you'll see that red, little red fish. That little red fish will chase you and try to blow up, as you can probably tell just happened. So you want to outrun it and then go back into its cave, and you'll find this little cocoon that it came from. So inside of this little cocoon, you'll find the cave sulfur. And you can also find the little quartz crystals in these caves as well. And in order to build your knife and a few other things, you're going to need silicon. And to get silicon, you're going to want to head into the kelp biome, which is occupied by these big dangerous fish called these stalkers. And you're probably going to want to stay away from them as much as possible. But you're going to want to grab these seeds in order to make your silicon, and also later on you can make lubricant from them. And now I'm just going to jump back to the life pod, and we'll go ahead and build our knife. After we uh, break up the seeds into rubber and lubricant. So if you look into my inventory real quick, you can see that the seeds take up four spots. Well, it can break into two spots of rubber or one spot of lubricant, which I will start breaking that down now. The You want to keep processing these seeds because they start taking up a lot of space, and space is valuable in the beginning of the game. And they also don't break down as fast. 
that way. So we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a, oh yeah, we need to grab some titanium. All right, so now we have our titanium. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab a few of those mushrooms. And there we go. We'll go ahead and build ourselves the survival knife. So, very important. Then we'll go ahead and build ourselves a repair tool with that sulfur we found earlier. And another piece of rubber. So, now go ahead and build yourself some fins. And build yourself an O2 tank after breaking up your scraps into titanium. Alright, wonderful. And now that I have my O2 tank, you can see I've unlocked the blueprints for the high capacity O2 tank. And we'll go ahead and build these later on and you can do this on your own. I'm not going to have that be part of the video. And from here, you can also see all of the other blueprints that you've unlocked so far. And you, if you scroll over them, you can see what you need from er, to build them. All right, so now let's go ahead and start repairing our habitat. So you wanna repair all of your secondary systems just to turn on the lights, it doesn't do much other than that. And then you're going to also want to repair your radio. That way you can tell what's going on with the outside world. Alright, and this will really drive home the story of Subnautica, is all based around this radio. So this is the first radio message that you'll get, and I'll just let you guys listen to that real quick. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Detecting increased local All right, so levels. that's most Trans of the basics of Subnautica. Um, if Sustain you would like to see tutorials on where to find submarines and such, or at least the blueprints for them, go ahead and like and subscribe. And remember to get back to the basics.